I was worried that this entire ecosystem that I built wasn't the solution for our team. It was down to the wire, was incredibly stressful. I moved to New York when I was 20. I wanted to make it in the best city in the world. I joined Equinox Media because I was excited to get into a place super early and help shape the business. We were trying to produce a ton of content, onboarding new brands, trying to see where we could grow, but we had no system to keep track of all of these things. And we were racing towards an app launch. I had never used Airtable. It was a tool that our VP told us that we should be using to not only do project management, but resourcing, forecasting. I didn't want to learn something in the midst of all of this other craziness, but the system we were using started getting messier and messier. When COVID hit, the event launch was canceled, but we still launched digitally. It was a minimal viable product, and we knew that we had to create something better for what was going to become an at-home world. But at the same time, how do you produce content when you can't be in the studio? My goal was to create a system that could not only show us where all of our content was in the process, but also forecast what would come up. It wasn't until I started teaching everybody else that I just had this breakthrough where I realized Airtable was this powerful tool that could make everything easier for the entire team. For the first time ever, creative people were able to focus on their creative jobs rather than their administrative jobs. Things were clicking, we launched, and it was a success. Using the Airtable ecosystem, we were able to produce and deliver so much more than we ever had before. The publishing APIs improved our time to publish by over 400%. We have published over 4,500 unique classes. It's been really fun building something that people understand the value of. It's creating a better experience for our customers, creating a better experience for our teammates. Airtable is now the backbone of the content department and the success of the content department wouldn't be what it is without this ecosystem.